Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Scoutcraft. And today, guys, we're going to be heading to the shopping district, taking a break from our big base over there, our mega base. Let's see if we can, if it renders in when we're here. It just renders out of distance. But as you can see, last episode, we got on to a massive part of our base. And that is all this area right here. We got this bridge underneath the little entry to our mega base. And we're going to have one exactly on that side as well. But like I said, we're going to be taking a break from that base until later on in this episode. We're going to be working on the server's first actual mini game. And that is going to be called Treasures Cove. And I'll explain a bit more about that on the Shopping District Island. Now, the Treasure Cove mini game is going to be a mini game where players can uh, pay a diamond block or whatever the payment is and they get to scuba dive down below in the cove and try and grab a shulker box of their choice and what they can do is that they can grab a shulker box and that will can that will contain a certain amount of loot in each one some will have bad loot some will have good loot and some will have really really good loot guys so We've searched the island for a place that looks like a cove. What was that? Um, and it looks like there is a couple over there, but they're really big, and I wanted to keep it pretty small. So we went with this area here, this little cove here, and we've uh, dug out this little area here where we're going to have the mountain kind of eroding away a little bit. So I'm going to have to do that in a time lapse later on. But I thought the first thing we could do is actually... Uh, get rid of this um, gravel and sand and replace it with sand down the bottom, which I went ahead and did. And uh, System64 was kind enough to lend me his uh, conduit for this. I'll go replace it back to him later. Um, but as you can see, oh, we are using the wall as blue glass. So I'm going to go ahead and do all that. And then we can start decorating with all this stuff I got off camera. So we got the magma blocks. We got a lot of uh, weird blocks there. Sea pickles. All the coral there and grass, which is going to be for this area right here. So I think that it's going to be hard to put into a time lapse underwater, but I think we should get the underwater ready to go now, guys. So I'll see you in just a moment when this is all done. All right, guys, we are back and this is what we got up to. And I'm going to explain you how this mini game works. Now, it's exactly like Hermitcraft with uh, Iskale's Treasure Island per se. So they will pay a diamond block or whatever the whatever the price I set it to and we will hide shulker boxes in here and they will be able to go retrieve them, collect the shulker boxes and they will be able to keep those shulker boxes with that loot required. So the storyline we're going through here is that the ship has become reefed or, or stuck or whatever and uh, we're going to be having a scene with the new armor stand data pack which Vloop is going to be helping us out with that. But uh, how cool is this decorative thing guys? It's, I've been working on it for a while and I think I've absolutely nailed the colors down here. So it will be hard to find shulker boxes. I'll explain exactly how the mini game works fully at the end of the video. But this is the basis of it so far. So we've got to work on the exterior because this mycelium just simply isn't cutting it, guys. So we've got to decorate the outside here with some sand, some grass along the mountain, a little uh, erosion with this... Uh, with this uh, mountain here, I don't want to get the whole mountain. I want to kind of keep it the way it is. So we're going to head into a quick little time lapse of the surrounding areas around here. So I think we should get into it, guys. So enjoy the time lapse, and I'll see you on the other side of it. Hit it. guys i really did hope you enjoyed that quite basic time lapse there but as you're seeing right now i've done a lot more than what you would have seen in the replay footage i don't know what that squid's doing it's just sleeping there <laughs> um 
But as you can see, we've got the path here and we've kind of like blended it in. We've got the invisible item frames on the ground with a few bones, a bits of string and whatnot. Once I get a few Nautilus shells, I might chuck a fair few of them in. But as you can see, these palm trees are looking pretty good. And Vloop's still got to come in here and uh, do all this kind of stuff here with the armor stands. He's pretty handy with all that. So we've, we're hiring him for that and we might check in with him at the end of the episode to see what he gets up to. But this game is now fully functional. And as you can see, there are 16 shulker boxes underneath there with loot in them. And as you can see, there's an example one right there. They're pretty easy to find as they're water not waterlogged and it looks like it's flowing. As you can see, there's another one there as well. I won't give too many away though as, oh, as I don't want to spoil it for the scouts as well. But you do have a great chance of earning back your diamonds that you spend here at the game. So it's a diamond block per entry and I currently think that the, the major jackpot or the big jack, jackpot, the captain's treasure, is actually worth probably around double if not triple that uh, that bank loot that you'll put in to pay. So let's take a look over here. So you come across here and this is the diving gear you use. So let's see if we can just equip, our, ooh, equip ourselves with this. So oh, I'm going to keep grabbing that, aren't I? Yep, there's the pick and there's the helmet. So what you do is you'd come across here. Pay your, diamond block, pay your diamond block, put this on, and as you can see, this is our diving suit, and you have your pick. This is the pickaxe that you'd use to mine the shulker box. You'd come along, go for a dive, and the bubbles right there is the duration you can stay underwater for. If you do not find a box in that time, you lose, and you will not. You have to pay another diamond block to play. As you can see, you move pretty quickly around, so it's pretty easy to find a shulker box. But I've got a little little a couple of books over here with the rules so we'll chuck this armor back and chuck our ones back on and where is it down here so we'll chuck this back on and then we'll read out this book oh come on yep there we go so the how to play let's let's try and read it in uh, so it's one diamond block one dive and yeah welcome to treasure cove scare crafts mini game how to play i'm going to try and read this in in pirate. Ahoy! Welcome to Treasure Cove. I be going to tell ye how you can tell me to get some loot. Tell ye, to your left and right, ye will see a diving kit. Equip yourself with this gear and dive to the depths of the ocean and get my booty. This diving suit can be mighty speedy and can last underwater for quite some time. Now to the right, you will need to put a piece of gold into the barrel every time you find some of me stuff down below. One diamond block be equal to one dive to the depths. Don't come up empty handed or your booty be mine. Arr! So that's that kind of there. And this is what I'm talking about with the boxes. So every time a scout will uh, find a box down there, they'll take one from that and chuck it into that. So I know how many boxes are actually still down there as well. So in saying that, the loot guide, this is how it works. The loot guide is... Okay, we'll do this. Ahoy, they are welcome to Treasure Cove. Me booty has sunk to the bottom of the ocean. Here are a list of tears you can find in the reef below. There are currently eight sailors unaccounted for. Help me find them. You will find below eight sailors in loot boxes all having different loot within them. So we have sailors' names, which is horrible loot. So that'll just consist of, you know, bones and stuff. Damaged loot box, which is okay loot. Cracked loot box, which is good loot. And then sealed loot box, which is great loot. And then captain's treasure. Arr, you got all me loot. So that's the best one you can get. So that is a pretty good chance to get down there. And I thought as well we could add some sort of note block as well. And this is what this is for. So it's scared to spend your diamonds. Press the motivation, the button of motivation. So you press this. And if you guys in the comments can guess this, that is uh, another win for you guys. You just guess the last one quite easily, and this one you will be able to as well. So let's go. So that is that um, note block uh, doorbell there. And they can play that while they're going for a dive if they want. But that is the general go of Treasure Cove, guys. It's pretty much 100% complete. Uh, as the tiers go on and the boxes sell out, we'll refill uh, 
every so often, but we'll do some more decorative work around here. But this is absolutely looking unreal. It's another addition to the shopping district. So I think three diamond blocks, I, or three diamond blocks, I think was the one to cover it. So we're gonna go chuck them on the pile right now. All right, so we'll grab our valuables box out, grab three diamond blocks and we'll chuck them on the pile just like so. And that is us wrapped up. Hopefully we can earn those diamonds back pretty quick. I think we will as this is quite an enticing uh, thing to do. So uh, I've been speaking to Odd Man. He's already keen to use it as well. So yeah, so let's have a fly above quickly in the night and then we're going to transition back into our base into another time lapse into our mega base guys some more work's going to get done with that so as we see say goodbye to treasure cove for the rest of this episode at least until we see loop we will see you in a minecraft time lapse of the mega base hit I really did hope you enjoyed that time lapse and here is a little peek at what we did We've done complete this side here And if we duck up through the mountain here and poke our head around here and then turn it around We have now completed in here as well Now in this interior of the island, we're going to actually have houses and a village So don't worry about that. I haven't just got <laughs> nothing planned but Around here is eventually going to be sand and palm trees, similar to what you saw at the Treasure Cove. But we actually did in here too. We've kind of stoned it up and we'll eventually have like sand across this side as well. And a little, I don't know, maybe a couple of armor stand poses and whatnot just to get into the island. But I think that's going to do it for me this episode. Uh, Vloop is having a bit of computer trouble, so we're not going to get that armor stand done this episode. However, I might be able to do it off camera. But Treasure Cove is now fully operational, and I plead to the scouts to go give it a go as it's very fun and <laughs> give me your money. <laughs> nah, the prizes in there are pretty good, so you should at least have a 50% chance of actually getting something worthwhile. So thanks, guys, for stopping by, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you haven't liked the video already, please do so. And if you're enjoying my content, please subscribe to my channel. My personal Discord link is in the description below. Thank you and have a good day.